Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy6Gaming coming to you with a pretty cool tutorial. This one's pretty wicked. Uh, somebody in the comments the other day was like, hey Skippy, can you make a Nexus? And I was like, what the heck's a necklace? Nexus? I don't even know. And he said it was like a, a high-tech storage system, blah, 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 blah. I googled it on, uh, or I looked it up on YouTube and I saw Ethos Minecraft server has this huge Nexus. And then I saw this other guy, Cub Fan. Uh, who made a mini nexus long story short this is a mini nexus so i'll give a shout out to cub fan because this is more or less his whole design uh it, it is really complicated kind of but not really it's simple but complicated so long story short this thing will store infinite items and sort infinite items uh, it will also sort out your non-stackable items as well as 16 stack items and it will hold as much of it as you want as this is a ton of minecart chests here uh, and you could just put as many as you want to store. So basically, long story short, uh, everything that goes in the Nexus will have a block right here. So all these items are in the Nexus. So say a good example is stone. Uh, we'll take the item out of the Nexus that way you always know what's in it and then you go over here and all you got to do is right in this hopper right here put whatever you want to recall so if we want to recall stone we're gonna put stone in and I've already done this but basically we've already recalled all the stone out of the Nexus so that means we have no more left but we do have something else in the Nexus and that's going to be powered rails so let's go ahead and put powered rails in the Nexus and it's going to oh once the, once you put it in the nexus you got to turn this switch there you go so now what you're going to see is it's going to start recalling all of the powered rails out of the nexus want to stop it do this turn it off go in here take your powered rail back out and again make sure you put it back in this chest because this basically tells you everything that's in your nexus so now the other thing is if you put in a non-stackable item, so everything that goes in your Nexus goes in this one right here. So if you put in a non-stackable item, it's going to end up in the non-stackable chest right there. Look, perfect. All the non-stackables. And this is going to be just kind of an item that puts all of the stuff here. So now the other thing that you're going to do is if you have 16 stack items like signs, uh, that's going to be another one. It's a little bit trickier. Basically, you got to go on the Nexus here, and then what you do is you take half of these ones out, down to three, put them out there, and then put your sign in there, hit the switch, and guess what's going to happen? We're going to start getting signs. And there you go. Turn it off when you don't want anymore. Pretty cool considering it's so tiny and it can hold an infinite amount of stuff. Uh, I'm going to go back in here, take the sign back, and make sure that we put our other three, bringing this first one back up to six. And it's good to keep operating. And there you go. It's infinite. It goes forever. So I'm going to tell you what you need here. For this build, guys, you're going to need 10 chests. Uh, as many minecart chests as you want. I, I would say start with 10 at least, uh, if not more. One redstone lamp, one lever, seven, hop this, seven hoppers, one rail, one compar or two comparators, two torches, one repeater, and about nine blocks of choice. Again, the glass is going to be all you. That's just kind of decoration. Um, I'm just going to go and grab... Uh, we have chests. We have this. Let's just grab a comparator. Let's get a hopper. Let's get all the stuff we need here. We're going to need a redstone lamp. We're going to need a torch. Let's put that over there. We're going to need that slab later. And uh, let's jump right into this build. So for this uh, for this start off of this, let's, let's do it over here. Basically, you start with a triple hole in the ground. I see I always don't line it up, but I think I could do this right off of memory. Uh, we're going to put a chest right here, chest right here. Then what we're going to do is drop down, crouch place, hopper into the chest. And then we want to get a hopper pointing into nothingness right here. So let's just place a block for a second. Put your hopper into that guy. That looks good. That looks good. So now what you're going to do is grab a comparator. A comparator is going to come out of here. It's going to bring our redstone dust down here. Down here too. Let's bring our redstone dust. 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 And then down here we're going to put our repeater. Perfect. So now what we're going to want to do is attach a redstone torch, which I don't have. Perfect. Grab our redstone torch. We're going to need blocks. We're going to need hoppers. We're going to need chests. We don't need that sign anymore. So we want to put a redstone torch on the other side of that block there. So let's go over here. And I think it's going to be this block right here. Look. Yep. Perfect. So let's place the block there. No. Block redstone torch right there 
So now we can fly up, fill that hole up. And we're looking good. Now we're cooking with gas. It looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do is basically we got to go over here and we got to make uh, this kind of little uh, contraption jobber right here, which is actually not that hard. Uh, go over here, grab your redstone lamp. Redstone lamp right here. Lever on the redstone lamp. Turn it on. And now we're going to start playing with some rails. So grab your railing or your rail and uh, throw your rail on top of both of these guys. And uh, crouch place for this guy right here because we're going to have to do that. Then bust this guy out, put a block in there, and then let's grab our first minecart, uh, minecart with chest right here. There's quite a variety of stuff in this one, so we got our minecart with chest. So now that we got our minecart with chest, we're actually going to just start the flow up. So basically Hopper goes into the minecart with chest, and let's grab this guy right here. Basically, oh, I hope I didn't mess it up. You're going to have to... Crouch place and then hit that rail right there. I don't know if I... I might have to move that. Yeah. So let's let's put this guy there like that. And then put the minecart with chest. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is grab your chest. And we're going to create dos chest por favor. Right here. We're going to crouch. Chest. Chest. And then double up. One on top. One on top. Perfect. So this one here is going to be non-stackable. That's stackable. And uh, all the stackable go into the system here. So now what we're going to do is uh, return to the rear area of this build. So pretty much what we're going to do is pr put a hopper into both of these guys. Right there, right there. And then this guy here, we're going to bring a hopper around. Hopper in there. Hopper in there. So... That looks pretty sharp, pretty sharp. And now we're just gonna do a small amount of redstone work. We got our hoppers going all the way around and then we're gonna place one more chest here. Again, in Cubpan's video, he said that he uses a red, uh, a trap chest here, but you don't have to. And uh, after using this one here, I actually really, I think that's a great idea. Uh, I didn't put it in the ingredients, but what happens is if you're messing around with, I'll put this guy here and there. But if you're messing around with the build and you're in this chest and you're uh, putting stuff in it, it won't drop anything through the system if it's a if it's a trap chest. So if you make a mistake, you could fix it. Uh, that said, I don't mind. I I know better, but you know if if you're a little bit uh, newer and uh, stuff like that, then you might want to look into it. So basically, what we're going to do now is grab your blocks of choice, and we are going to. This is the harder part. I'm gonna have to climb up a little bit. So we're going to put a block of choice right on the Ziggy Zaggy. And then we're going to Ziggy Zaggy it down. If Ziggy Zaggy is a word, which it probably isn't. And then we're going to Ziggy Zaggy it down. And that guy's going to go to a half slab. The one and only half slab in this build. Uh, taking up a space of the inventory for no reason. Let's go. So this guy's going to go into half slab. Goes into there right there. We're going to grab a comparator. And nope, that's wrong. This half slab is going to go right on the side, the top of this hopper. There you go, perfect. And then we're going to make a comparator going this way. Looks good to me, looks good to me. Grab yourself a redstone torch. Redstone torch on the back of this guy. This guy's going to go down one block. Let's, uh, right there goes down goes over and back so basically bring this guy back here put one block down here and then one block in the air right here get rid of this guy and then we're gonna grab redstone dust and dust Woo! we're most of the way done guys uh, as you can see right here we have a torch on the side so now pretty much all we got to do is go over here and make sure we complete what we need by putting this dust right here and I think we're mostly done, guys. I think actually we're all we are totally done. And that's about as hard as it gets. The only thing left to do, guys, is uh, do a few specific things. So as you're going to see right here, uh, this is where it gets a little more complicated. You'll see the holders in this are going to be name tags that I name holder. That way no one ever puts anything in that is those items. So uh, if you want to do that, all you got to do is grab an anvil, 
put your Advil down, name whatever it is to call it. I call them holder because that's what they're always using, but just put your name tags in and, or you can name any item. You just go put stone in there and call it something else as long as it doesn't uh, do that. So that said, we're going to want to do that. I'm going to just go steal them out of this one over here because I don't want to spend all day and let's go steal the name tags out of this one holder. So what you will do here is go ahead and place in this hopper right here your holder tags and you're going to do so by putting uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6 in the last one. Okay, so now that that's done, we have to do one more tricky piece of business here is we have to grab minecart, grab one powered rail, and we got minecart with chests. Now let's just grab... I'm just going to use a torch for this one. So basically, we want to put a whole bunch of these minecart with chests in here that will make this infinite. So uh, basically, all you do is wrap this guy around, bring one block up right here, and then wrap it around the backside like this. Bang. So ah, I did it one low. So I'm going to move this up one higher. And then put a block here, grab a powered rail, put a powered rail here. You want it to go towards the hole, so if that happens, do that. Put this guy up, and then I'm going to grab a redstone torch. Throw it on this guy. It's going to be stupid. We could just grab it right there. As long as this one's light up, you're good to go. Throw your minecart with chest on, and guess what? Fill up your infinite storage as much as you want. I would say put at least 10. Don't go too fast. And then once you're done, you're good. So get these guys. Bust all this stuff out. It's not necessary, not necessary, not necessary. This guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. And your mission is accomplished. So all you got to do is keep a chest nearby. If we wanted to do this a little fancier, I would just put the chest right here. Uh, very simple, very plain. And then for mine, I just grab a bunch of glass. And we are going to... I just wrap it around. I'm not really going to design it too much, guys. It's all you up there. Uh, and we do this. Bring it up. Fill this area with glass. And we'll be good. All the chests will still open. So basically, this is your input. This is where you put your blocks. So we'll just do a quick little test to make sure that everything's hunky-dory. This guy can go here too. This guy can go here too. And here. So as that's all done right now, like literally infinite sorter, storage, everything. This tiny in your base, man. I'm not joking. I'm going to use this from now on. I'm going to use one of these instead of making the huge sorters. Uh, you can expand a lot of the different things on this. So let's go ahead and test the theory. So let's just go. We're going to get uh, some stone and uh, let's get a non-stackable item or two. We'll get like uh, a helmet and a pair of pants and then we'll get one more stackable. We'll get a 16 stack item, which is signs. Okay, so. Basically, what we want to do is we're going to put stone in here. So let's put one stone in this chest. Now we know that's like the legend. We got everything in there. And uh, let's throw stone in. We're going to go throw our stone in. Stone's going to disappear and go. Uh, might as well, while we're up there, let's just throw our non-stackable items. And uh, let's go ahead and throw these in as well. And there we go. So everything's pumping, pumping, pumping. So first in here. Think they haven't even got to it yet because they're still going through the stone so as it's still going that's good that's good what was the other item that we put in there you got to give it some time to go the the big stack of stone got me so we should have non stackables look at that perfect non stackable items top chest this is just to kind of go through for all the stackable items you can literally store thousands of stone or whatever so now that we have stone we're good we go into our thing right here and we want stone to come out so what are we going to do we just put one stone in there hit the switch and guess what stone is pumping don't want no more stone Turn it off, go in here, take the stone out. What we want now is signs, right? What do we have to do for signs? Take half of these out, remember? And throw the signs in, hit the switch, and guess what? Signs are coming too. Hit the switch off. That's perfect. Let's fix this by taking this out and simply adding these back. And there you go. Nexus storage system. Super cool. Look at this. Tiny, and it will store like like the hugest sorting system it you could put like so many your whole limit of carts in there um 
there you go guys can't forget don't forget to subscribe if you're not already don't forget as well to share this video on social media with your friends don't forget as well to just smash a like or say what's up on twitter or you know whatever you do catch you on the next one